in order for any equity to take place in science education, we must be consciously intentional in what we are doing for kids, regardless of race, regardless of socioeconomic status. When I say that, I mean that we have to take into consideration perspectives, perspectives from those who are teaching the students and the perspectives of the students. If we don't understand each other's perspectives, then we need to do our own research in learning people's cultures, backgrounds, and history. When we're thinking about how we can effectively and efficiently engage underrepresented students in science curriculum and the strategies that I will afford teachers is ensuring that performance has activities and are made applicable and relatable to the students that are being taught. And in order for teachers to do that, they need to survey their students, pique their interest, see what things that they are involved in, see what different things that they love to do. In the long run, as an individual who was once a science teacher and who is now an administrator on a building level to where I am empowering teachers to put into to empower our students in STEM, we're building the society that we hope to see. And also with being the Multicultural Equity Division Director, it gives me the chance to empower pre-service educators, to give PDs on social justice, to give PDs on diversity, equity, and inclusion, to empower those who are over or in charge of students, to then, once we drop little seeds into students' lives or pre-service teachers' lives, then those little seeds will then grow because someone else will come through and water them. Equity is about accountability. So when we are in positions of budgeting, when we are in positions of instruction, where we are in positions of ensuring that our students are receiving what they need, we have to be accountable to each other. We have to be accountable to the students in understanding where they are, where they're from, and how they're living and we have to be accountable to ourselves because we have to be honest with ourselves and saying to ourselves do i want to teach a student of color do i want to teach students that look like me if i'm teaching students who do not look like me then how can i build relationships with them so that they know that i desire the best for them and that you desire for them to want to achieve.